In this tutorial, we'll discuss more advanced email options. So we'll go ahead and compose a new message. And you'll see across the top, you have several different options in the web client. Of course, you can send the message when ready. You have the ability to save a message in the drafts folder, so you can go back and work on it at a later time and then send it. The options tab gives you several options. The ability to request read confirmation, choose to or to not save this sent message to your sent items folder, select what default folder that sent items folder will be, set message status, choose your spell checker language, and even specify an alternate reply to address that replies to this message will be sent to. You can also encrypt or digitally sign a message if you're using a personal certificate to communicate with a colleague, and you can specify to receive a delivery report when this message is sent. Delivery reports are a unique and innovative way that a user can tell exactly what happens to their message once it's sent. So we'll go ahead and select that we do want a delivery report. You notice when I depress the delivery report option that it becomes emboldened. We'll specify our recipient as Rick. And we'll go ahead and send that message. Now you see what happens. We get a, an instant pop-up telling us that indeed the message was delivered to Rick with a timestamp. So we know without a doubt that this message went through successfully. No need to wait for a bounce back that I may or may not get to notify me or have him call me in 15 or 20 minutes and tell me I didn't receive that message you were sending me. You know instantly. Let's compare that to a message that has an issue with delivery. So again, we'll bring up Rick, but I have a type, an intentionally typoed Rick contact in my address book, missing the O as you'll notice in demo. So we'll go ahead and queue that up, specify that we do want a delivery report again, and send that message. Now you'll see, we get an instant pop-up letting us know that the message status was an error, the mail was returned, the domain was not found. And of course we knew that already because we typoed that intentionally, but for a user who didn't know, who misspelled the name, whatever the case may be, then you have an instant access and know that this message was not delivered. You can see exactly why and you can make a change or, or remedy that situation to get that message out to your colleague. So again, a very unique way and a very uh, immediate way for a user to know exactly what happened to their message.